proceeds from the Father. He will bear witness to me, and you also are my witnesses, because you have been with me from the beginning. Bless me, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Alleluia. insult and spinning. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint. I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? All of them will wear out like a garment. The mouth will eat 
Then up. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second reading is from the book of James, chapter 3, verse 1 through 12. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness, for all of us make many mistakes. Anyone who makes no mistakes is speaking in speaking is perfect able to keep the whole body in check with it right. If we put bits into our mouths, our horses too, make us, make them obey us. We guide our whole body. Our lips are ships. Though they are so large that it takes strong winds to drive them, yet they are guided by a very small rudder whenever Wherever it will be, the it sorry, wherever it will of the pilot's direct. So also the tongue is like a small number, yet it goes about great exploits. How great a forest set ablaze by a small fire. And the tongue is a fire. The tongue is placed among our members as a world of iniquity. It stains the whole body. It sets, sets on fire the cycle of nature, and itself sets it fire by hell. For every species of beast that and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by human species. But no one can tame the tongue. A restless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless the Lord and the Father, and with it, we curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth comes blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this ought not to be so. Does they spring forth for from the same opening both fresh and brackish water? Can a fig tree my brothers and sisters, ye of olives, or grapevine figs, no more can sow water, ye fresh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand, congratulate him.
A reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the 8th chapter, continued at the 27th verse. Glory to Christ our Savior. Jesus went with his disciples to the village of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. And he strictly ordered them not to tell anyone about it. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. He said to all, this quietly and openly. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, Jesus rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are set your minds, your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any of you want to become my follower, let them deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, will save it. For what will it profit a man and to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Indeed, what can anyone give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. This is the Gospel of Christ. Two 
My wife would walk in the garden and tell you, I know. I got it. Got it.
Some words from my Isaiah, chapter 50, and verse 4. The Lord God has given me a tongue of a teacher, that I might know how to sustain the weary with a word. I speak to you in his name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, if I was at the road a little bit more, I would say to you this morning, and in my opening, I need a word from the Lord. But because I'm here in St. Mary's, I want to say to you, the Lord has always given us a word. And the lessons for the day is some words, my brothers and sisters, that is good for us in this environment in which we are in now. Because if you were to look at the opening line in the second lesson from James, James says that not many of you shall be teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you know that we who are teachers will be judged with great, great strictness. The gospel story turns around and the gospel story tells us then Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes. What? What? All of the lessons are saying to us this morning. All of the lessons are telling us that we must govern ourselves accordingly. That we must govern ourselves accordingly. But the lessons that I believe, brother, James did, did a noble thing when he, when he gave us a simple, 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 simple remedy on the way to start to govern ourselves. He spoke about the tongue. That simple, simple way that James used is one that we should wonder. James told us that you can take a pit and put it in the horse mouth. And that bed will control the whole horse. I'm going to break that down a little bit for you here. When you take that bit and you put it in the horse mouth, what happens to control the horse is that the bed press down on the tongue. Our tongue can control all of us, yeah? Our tongue does. Our tongue does cause trouble for us as well as it can cause persons to lift us up. Our tongue does, does cause us to get in so much hot water sometimes that man look at, even if you put it in the deep freeze, it don't cool down to lift us up. Our tongue is dangerous. And, and in this environment, praise God, it's only a matter of a short time now. Eh? Next week, Friday, we can start to celebrate as one people again. But our tongue, our tongue is a deadly weapon. And guess how that bit the hold the horse on that? There is a bit for each of us to hold our tongues down. That's called the word of God. When the word of God controls our tongue, it controls the whole body. And we've got to be a set of people who will feed on the word of God. And it's a little hard for you, eh? When you feed on the word of God, it's hard for you not to get excited. And so you want to lift up holy hands. You want to sing praises unto the Lord. And I want to tell you, you can't ask your brother while you're praising God. Amen. Oh, you all this time. Come on, come on, slow down and try that again, eh? You see, in, 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 in times like this, it's easy for us to forget the New Testament and find ourselves back in the Old Testament. And I can be in the Old Testament in the Hagen style, eh? If you kill my cat, then kill the dog. Alright? 
of the Lord. That old section came, and if you look at the old right, he said, What you doing? A nosy little head. What you doing? And that old gentleman just looked up at the section, just with a little hair to I'm spending time with my Jesus. Hey, I'm trying to say to you, if we spend time with Jesus, we'll look more like him, we'll sound more like him, we'll walk more like him, we will have a heart of compassion like him, we must spend some time. All of us say, like the old man said, hey, with my wife. Put ownership on it with my Jesus. And sometimes it comes in some simple acts. Some simple acts. Eh? That as simple as coming and having just a quiet moment. A quiet moment to allow God to reflect. For us to reflect on the goodness of the Lord. And you know, my brothers and sisters, if we carve out Five minutes every day just to sit or kneel somewhere. And, and we bless you eh? to sit and just look out at the sea and allow God to talk to us. Oh, what a day we can have, that. Eh? What a day we can have. And how it comes? Not by saying a word, but allowing God to speak. Too often we just get what as tired. From the minute we close our eyes, we will off all kind of shoulders. <laughs> and by the time we reach to the last item on the list, you hear? Amen. My new body's in game time to say, all of that today again? You ain't have time to check. Not on the list, but by the time we reach to the last item on the list, you say, Amen. Sometimes. Every day I know what I want to say to you. If you just practice, you don't have to cut on no long periods. You'll find that you would want more as you develop the discipline just to be still, to be quiet in the presence of the Lord. Allow His presence to saturate you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And feel the awesomeness that comes just from spending some time with my Jesus. With my Jesus. Allow him to speak. Right now, I want you to close your eyes and have that quiet moment to allow God to speak into your life. Give God thanks. I invite you to pray for healing. Those who might be from our community that are suffering from hope. That God will so bless the hearts of members of the members of the healthcare team. Minister to those of with other ailments. That our great physician, our healer, our provider, touch 
the special way I call for you to your life with me. Seeking God's continual guidance and blessings and healing on our sister Smiley Shelley. God will continue to advance her healing and she can come back and share with us how good God is and where he has brought her from. Let us pray. The hearts of peace that our election might be a peaceable
Jesus Christ our Lord. It will go with the rest of promise. The Holy Spirit came down from heaven, lying upon the disciples to teach them and to lead them into all truth, uniting persons of many towns in the confession of one faith, and giving to your church the power to serve you as a royal priesthood and to preach the gospel to all nations. Therefore, we preach, joining our voices with the angels and our angels, and with all the company in heaven. Who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, all praise your right and gives you praise, all life, all holiness comes from you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, whom you sent to share in human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts, and we are to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that it may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who offered himself in obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all. He was betrayed, he took the bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it. And gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of you. The body. Lamb of God, 
Our souls will feast and be satisfied, and we will sing glad songs of praise to Him.
Fica agora a participar. Fica em um pouco em nós. Fica em um pouco em nós. Send us an army to learn and peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you, and all persons to see you, with gladness and singleness of heart, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Spirit of truth leads you into all truth, give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and to proclaim the word and works of God. And the blessings of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now as always. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. I just wish to say, and Catechist will continue, that there will only be service one. Friday morning. In the parish, we speak on Friday morning. Friday morning gives us a good opportunity to come to church. <laughs> Those who would have been in the celebration, break it forward from Thursday night. And those who would be in a, in a sad depressed mood, is the best time to come together and to ask God's blessing. And so the only time this week we will have service. Right. I, I will put, as I've asked, I want to remind you before the day is out, there is a possible letter from the bishop on election. I will put in the, in the parish chat room so that you can, you can read it. Uh, it was a little, little legend. And I, my bulletin is down to a silence now that I can just lose X amount of pages, eh? One more page, one more page requires four pages. Yeah. And I would have needed to use the four, almost a four there, to that four and a half, which means I would have three and a half more pages. Bit. Whatever that is, right? So I will put it in the chat so that we all can reflect on its core is just this. Show respect. Love for each other's choice. Show God's people grace. Dignity for all. Not just your point, it be different from mine. I see. You understand what I'm saying? That's basically what the text is. The, the pastoral letter say, just cover your son. Make us all proud of the eye of the church. The first We're going to bring the cake and, and, and uh, other stuff so we can sh share with the celebration. <laughs> yeah. And you made the money too. You should have done that. I guess you have to buy you to the bar. That's your own. Buy your own things. <laughs> that is great. I'm going to have to give you thanks for that. Young man. Pray that you keep your daughter and follow the path. Satan never had an angel. Keep her eager, striving to know more and more of you and, and impart knowledge, O oh Father, that, that she will show us how to Bless her. May this day be one that finds a good health. Help in your way. His name of his father, to his son, to his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.